Good morning, it's Wednesday, March 26th. We just got dropped off by Smooth. Uh, he's gonna point the camera at me. <laughs> I don't have my hat. Don't worry about it, nobody cares if you got your hat or not. How's that? Uh, it's Wednesday the 26th. We just got dropped off by Smooth at the Gap. He picked up us, picked us up yesterday. Yeah, so um, they're uh, trail angels here in uh, Waynesboro. Waynesboro. And him and his wife, Amy, so he picked us up and drove us to a hotel because we needed to resupply. So, uh, and but before that, he came and they took us out to dinner. And so they picked us up, dropped us off this morning, and bought us dinner. So they're pretty amazing they people. They're first true trail angels. Yes, first. Yep the first uh, trail angels that we met uh, on the trail. So that was really cool. And smooth. Super, super nice people. Smooth had hiked the trail in 2022. Yeah. So just last year he hiked it. And he ju they just wanted to um, do this because... Uh... Just kind of like give back. I mean, he said he had a... Everybody that does this is going to have to have some type of help. And so he got he got some help and he wants to kind of pay that for which is really cool and we told them because they were talking about doing the Colorado Trail and said hey if you ever come out let us know and they have our phone number so we can come out and hopefully do the same thing for them um, yeah so we resupplied went to Walmart got our stuff and what we really needed was fuel but we went back to the section that had the fuel they had just the giant canisters which is not really what we wanted so we figured we'd wait till the morning and look on see if we can find maybe an outfitter or something we'd go down there and get some but there was nothing that we could find and uh we were eating breakfast and we were talking about we we're talking to these other hikers and and uh he just told me we we're gonna have to go over there and get one of those giant canisters of fuel and uh, he told us hey there was a section hiker that, j that just stopped and uh you know they put all their stuff in the hiker box and they ended up giving this other guy uh, one of those small canisters of fuel and asked us if we wanted it so yeah, so that was cool. The so, hiker's name is Don. And yeah, he, Don. He started in Harper's Ferry. Yeah, he's doing, doing a flip-flop. Flip yeah. yeah, so he gave us a, a canister of fuel, small canister, which was really cool. Yeah, so um, the trail provides, huh? Yeah, apparently. Yeah, so it's been awesome. Apparently, it's not a lie. Although, um, uh, I've had a lot of people tell me that they've met Fresh Grounds. <laughs> and, and, they've, and they've had Fresh Grounds cook for them. Yes. But I think that they're probably all part of the conspiracy because I've never seen them. And every time they send me photos, the photos look a little photoshopped. So he's just joking. <laughs> <laughs> so in, in, for those of you who don't know, uh, Fresh Grounds is kind of like one of the most one of the most popular uh, trail angel. That uh... he he cooks he cooks a lot of food on the trail. He goes around in his uh, little uh, food truck and he cooks hikers you know food and stuff like that so he's, we're not sure where he's based from but he up and down the trail he goes yeah, up and down the trail it's like from georgia to here he's, yeah. he's in pennsylvania now but the other night we did get uh some trail magic even though it was almost dark i don't know if I, i'm able yeah. to uh we got trail magic from click and clack the yeah. tappet brothers well i don't know if they're click and clack the tappet brothers because that's an npr thing but they were click and clack that's their trail name that's, that's was their, their trail name brothers. And they're brothers, really nice guys, really cool guys. So, yeah, and so that was neat. That was kind of like, that was our second time we got uh, somebody, no, the third time that somebody kind of gave us food on the trail, which was really neat. So, and they were just getting ready to go. They yep, just they got packed, everything packed their up. Grill and... Yeah, yep. Yeah, but it's been great. And uh, we're in Pennsylvania now. We're excited to. Uh, We've got a long hike ahead of us. Yep, get to the halfway point. Yeah, we don't know where we're going today. We're, yeah. just, we're just we started uh not one o'clock today but yeah about, we started pretty late it was about 10 30 or so so mm -hmm. so it's we been, have a plan to go 15 something miles or more or more or yeah. less yep you know so we'll see these days we're lazy pretty lazy <laughs> even the past days we were lazy yep i also wanted to add that uh in waynesboro we stayed at the cobblestone inn and they have hiker discount 20 percent so that's tremendous and also uh 
they have a laundry and free breakfast. Well, it's not really free, but um, they have breakfast there. And also they have a hiker box. They are very hiker friendly there. So if you're looking you for a- You have to ask them for the hiker box though. Oh yeah, you have to ask for the hiker box. That's because they didn't want to just leave it out there for everyone to go through. But um, yeah, it's really nice there. We had a relaxing stay, spend great time with great people. And uh, it's a beautiful day. I think it's supposed to rain sometime later, but right now it's just a nice trail and perfect weather. Side by side. So these are the first shelters uh, coming across in Pennsylvania. And it looks like every spot has two shelters. And this one is called, or these ones are called Deer Lick Shelters. Look at the camping pads. Yeah. Oh wow, <laughs> look at those camping, those tent pads. Now there's bougie camping right there. Bougie tenting. And then their, their, uh, privy is right there. So if Not you, our favorite design of privies. Yeah, usually the ones that are like that, they smell bad right and away. They got a collection of gagumbas. Oh, gagumba means spiders, spiders. in the in Filipino. Uh, gagumbas are spiders. <laughs> I tried to open a door and the spiders kicked it shut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but man, those are nice. Okay, we might we might push for. Uh, the quarry shelters <laughs> they're supposed to be nice too uh, smooth said it's supposed to be the one with like potted plants and look at the water it's just right here man this is perfect And I think the shelters are like not far apart either because the next one I think is maybe five, six miles from here or maybe more, but the quarry shelters that we might want to go to is uh, 16 miles from here. And if we try to get to it, we'll be there around eight o'clock. So we'll see how we feel though. We just passed the old forge campground where you can get some potable water. And we saw Professor Plum. Again, he gave us his phone number if we need trail magic or any help when we get to the whites because I think he's from that area. But anyway, so if you need water, today actually we'll have plenty of water along the way, so you don't have to carry a lot. And that's always nice. So we're gonna climb up the chimney rock, point one from the AT, so we can have a view, first view in PA. Let's see. What this one looks like. So we considered going to this shelter today. Um, it says 0.3 miles. There are actually two shelters, but we found out that it's 0.3 miles from the trail and it's uh, also 0.3 miles to get to the water in a, on a very steep hill. So, and not only that, 
uh, a lot of people that we have crossed paths with or we came across with are going there. Uh, so far we know four people who are going there and that would have given us uh, 12 point something miles today of hiking. Originally we were thinking about going to the quarry shelters which would have been 18 something miles but uh, I didn't really feel like it after we heard from another hiker that he's going to this hostel uh, that would have given us 15.1 miles and it's pretty inexpensive and I told Jeff that you know I don't actually like hiking in the rain but I wouldn't want to set up tent while it's raining and it's gonna rain and it's raining some right now so we're staying in the hostel tonight. It's Thursday the 27th. We ended up staying at a hostel last night called Through It All. It's a hostel in a church evangelical type church <laughs> you're laughing <laughs> um, we ended up going there because uh, another hiker Nate uh, he said he was going there so we thought you know we didn't really want to set up while it's raining set up camp because we know there will be a lot of people in shelters but anyway I told Jeff it looks from far out because it doesn't say how far it was from the trail you have to walk down the road I told him it looks like it's 0.3 she didn't say it looks like it's 0.3 I asked her she said it's 0.3 <laughs> it's 0.3 from the road but anyway it was actually 0.8 or more <laughs> it felt like more than but anyway the stay was fifty dollars and uh kind of got emotional this morning about certain things but uh it was okay <laughs> the stay was okay it's just that um made me reflect a lot about the church anyway I'll probably stop talking now because I might you know say what I really feel we'll just show you um, the trail as we try to make it halfway today the plan is to go to the Iron Master Hostel which is almost 20 miles from here we made progress this morning we actually <laughs> got ready earlier we started like 7 30 right Jeff? yeah we actually got out like uh, a, little, a little after 7 so more progress <laughs> <laughs> yesterday was like 10 o'clock we no, started was it 10 o'clock? yeah I thought it was, it was earlier than that oh I thought we started at 10 o'clock yesterday no 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 the day before that uh. yeah, we went from 1 o'clock 1 in the afternoon to like 10 o'clock I think yesterday we started around 9 or 8 or 9. No, because we left the inn yesterday and we left at 10 o'clock. We got dropped off. Oh, by... that's right. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, we started like at 10.30 actually because, no, it was a little after 10 because when we got out to the road. We were supposed to get picked up at 10.30, remember? Mm -hmm. We got out to the road, so it was about a quarter after 10. Yep. So, all right, so today, look at the progress we're making. <laughs> 7.30, we're hiking already, so it's a big progress. The lazy bones are up early today but anyway so the plan is to get there but then again it depends on how we feel um, everyone is telling us that uh, we should get off trail tomorrow because it will rain pretty heavily with some wind so we'll see how it goes but anyway yeah today we'll 
we make it to the um, hostel. That means we're halfway through. So we'll take some videos for you on our way up there. This is the Caledonia Park. You have to pay if you want to stay in this area. And you're not allowed to camp three miles from here? Two miles. Two miles, I think. Two miles. So, yeah. I guess uh, Rangers actually uh, make sure no one is uh, camping here without paying, so you can't be sneaky. Yep, it says here, this pavilion is not an AT shelter. Just wanted, just wanted to let you know that PA is like this the whole way. <laughs> <laughs> the whole trail's been like this the whole way. <laughs> been so so easy yeah it's like what pine needles pine smooth. needles leaves so soft and nice yep. um yeah it's almost like one of those moving walkways at the airport you just jump on and you just kind of glide <laughs> we're just joking we're just <laughs> we always get excited when we see a path like this because our feet get a little break i was just wondering when we'll see rhododendrons again because I wanted to see them in bloom but I don't see any flowers on these ones This is the quarry gap shelter we were originally planning to. Yeah, but there's nobody there. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. I'm just, I will just film this beautiful shelter. Wow. This is like. Bougie. Oh, yeah, check this out. Come up inside here. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is so cool. These shelters put Tennessee in shame. <laughs> oh, look at that. You even have a specific spot for your stove. Magazines. Oh games. my gosh. I think I saw Bennett um, posting about this um, shelter or shelters. I wonder how many people. You're not going to fit a lot of people in these because not in this one. I don't know what it says, but I mean, they got plenty of tent pads. 